In January 2021, the old and new world collided in a remarkable way near the UK city of Birmingham. In this video, we will talk about one of most incredible discovery. Archaeologists had to check they wouldn't destroy anything historically significant along the track route, but in this unassuming part of England, experts were about to find one of the most extraordinary Elizabethan sites ever discovered by archaeologists in England on Earth. But before we start, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for regular updates. Let's get started. The biggest infrastructure project in Britain, HS2, has torn down woods and dug up miles of land. Environmentalists believe that the harm will be worse than the good. In order to build HS2, archaeologists must dig in Britain. The project's website states that thousands of experts will excavate 60 route sites, uncovering prehistoric settlements from practically every British era. Roman villas, medieval villages, and Victorian cemetery captain Matthew Flinders, who named Australia, was found in London, where he died in 1814, while a skeleton from thousands of years ago was uncovered in Buckinghamshire. Each archaeological site can educate us about the Black Death, but excavating burial grounds is sensitive and requires respect for the dead. The HS2 website said teams would compare Birmingham and London lifestyles. It's astonishing to see what's beneath the surface where people walk every day. At Colshill, near Birmingham, where archaeologists had been digging for two years, laborers clearing soil for HS2 found more than they expected. Wessex Archaeology and HS2 flew drones over the dig to obtain dozens of overhead photos to highlight the full scope of their latest discovery. The location spanned 1,000 feet. Scientists have linked the location to Hampton Court Palace, Kenilworth Castle, and Kirby Hall in Northamptonshire. These estates resemble Coles Hill. Archaeologists dig trenches and do geophysical surveys in addition to drone surveys. 500-year-old relics are here. Birmingham's Tudor Queen Elizabeth found the world's oldest railway roundhouse. Coles Hill's HS2 is famous. Another important part of Britain's history can educate us about life back then. HS2 was examined first. Aerial photographs revealed Coles Hill Manor, a magnificent edifice surrounded by an eight-sided moat. The building was excavated in the first two years, then amazing history was revealed. Simon Montford bought Coles Hill Manor in 1461. Montford was hanged, drawn, and quartered for supporting Henry V.I.'s overthrow. Henry granted loyal Simon Digby the dead man's inheritance. Sir Robert Digby, a 1574 Oxford graduate who became a barrister at Middle Temple, renovated the manor. Dublin knighted Digby in 1599. Barrister, courtier, and politician Ireland Digby was influential. The Warwickshire elected Englishman represented Athy in Parliament in 1601. He became Esquire of the Body to Queen Elizabeth I two years later. Digby was a privy councillor and royal advisor. Digby helped capture some of the gunpowder plot conspirators during James I's reign, but his time and resources were mostly consumed by legal issues related to his wife's inheritance. The Kelder inheritance even said that her grandfather's will had been amended so Lettuce couldn't inherit the Royal Irish Academy notes, but Lettuce would eventually be bestowed, with the title of Baron is horrible, and assume ownership of Ouch Hill as a widow. With Digby's title and marriage, she bravely guarded her new house for months throughout the Great Irish Rebellion. It's no wonder that he wanted to show off his power, and the courtier's remodeling of Coles Hill Manor made it a sparkling example of modern construction and a striking display of wealth. Yet the manor was just part of what the archaeologists would unearth. Digby traveled between England and Ireland, but he made his Warwickshire house exceptional by ordering some of England's most lavish ornamental gardens as a gift for him. Now brown and desolate, they must have been gorgeous. Coles Hill's graveled paths were found during HS2 excavations. Coles Hill has been compared to Hampton Court Palace, which was built in the early 16th century for Henry V's leading minister, Cardinal Thomas Wolsey, who claimed it after the latter failed to arrange Henry's divorce from Catherine of Aragon, and Wussey died before the king could execute him for treason. 
Hampton Court was the monarch's favorite house. Hampton Court has 60 acres of gardens and 750 acres of parkland, including the 1700 maze, the world's oldest puzzle, and Capability Brown's 250-year-old world's largest grapevine. There are even deer at Hampton Court that are descended from Henry V's herd. The site boasts a wilderness area that was converted from Henry's orchard to Charles of I's pleasure garden. Married Eye also turned Henry V's fish pins into sunken gardens, and accounts from the 1700s have allowed experts to restore William Iowa's privy garden with the same plants it would have had back then. Tudor Gardens' Renaissance Italy-inspired design fit the owner's house. Pavilions, circular walkways, and patterns that could be seen from above were popular. Deer often visited the gardens, which were also wonderful observation sites. Parks provided meat and showed wealth. Marigolds and violas flavored sweet dishes, but the rose was most important. The National Trust identified practical uses throughout the gardens at Coles Hill. Experts found a 13th century coin in Coles Hill's eight-sided moat. Stuart Pearson, a Wessex archaeologist, reported smoking pipes, cash, and musket balls in a statement about the gardens. Digby may have replaced a 14th-century gatehouse. SmithsoniaMag.com notes that there are further Roman artifacts and an Iron Age construction from far earlier charred stones left by the surrounding. River coal may have been used by Bronze Age humans to boil water thousands of years ago, for Pearson this dig was really something else. He noted that working on such a huge garden and manor site over 500 years is a once-in-a-career chance for the specialized fieldwork crew. It's not just about paving the way for HS2, but also discovering something unequaled in Britain. Though John Millward is HS2's historic environment manager, and he said in the statement, it's fantastic to see HS2's huge archaeology program making another major contribution to our understanding of British history. This is an incredibly exciting site, and the team has made some important new discoveries that unlock more of Britain's past of particular interest to Pearson, was how the gardens have been changed and adapted over time with different styles. This in turn has offered insights. Dr. Paul Stamper, an in-landscape shaping and gardening historian, dubbed Coles Hill one of the most intriguing Elizabethan gardens ever unearthed expert our country, which is astounding since no one had ever written about it. Nobody mentions it. Stamper said archaeologists investigated for two years. Since Coles Hill excavations are still underway, it seems unlikely that the railway will be built there until every historically significant element is uncovered and preserved. Archaeology helps HS2 convey British history with communities. The route has hosted open days, expert lectures and school visits, and online channels have shown the experts work for others who can't visit, where anyone could ask site workers questions, and as Coles Hill is revealed, more surprising situation is likely. Elizabethan gardens are so huge and beautifully maintained at Coles Hill. Now that they have them, it's crucial that the experts learn everything they can from them. Their discovery is part of the H2 work, which means there's also a duty to share as much as possible with the public, so watch this space. That's it for today. What do you think about this incredible discovery? Let us know in the comments section. Please like and share our videos. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for regular updates.